Uh, we are here with famed trainer Augie Sanchez at Barry's Boxing Gym in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, uh, Augie, we know that you train Diego, so obviously you're going to be biased a little bit, but tell us how camp has gone and what do you think is going to happen in this fight against Emmanuel Lucero on November 11th at Mandalay Bay? Well, our preparation has been um, up, to, uh, up to par. You know, we've uh, trained always hard. I mean, that's, that's always a, a give me, you know. Um, but his uh, his his uh, intense level, his uh, his thinking, you know, is all. I feel like he's did like a like a 360. You know, it's like a different fighter from his last fight. You know, um, he just he's progressing. He's learning more and more, and I think you're gonna see a lot of uh, different tools that he has he hasn't he hasn't uh, he hasn't did in the past of his fights. I feel like you're gonna see a different uh, more intensity, more power in Diego, and. Um, I just, I just think that uh, Lucero has uh, a rude awakening when uh, November 11th. Now, I, was, I happened to be here after you had examined several of Lucero's tapes and I watched some of the strategies and tactics that you were working on with Diego. Where do you see this fight going and where do you, where do you see Lucero as a fighter? Um, you know, in skill level, if, if it was rating, rating to 1 through uh, 10, I probably would give him uh, maybe like a six. Okay. You know, uh, you know he's a tough kid. You know, I don't. We don't underestimate nobody. Mm -hmm. You know, he has two arms. He has two legs. He puts his pants on so way, the same way we do. Right. You know, but you know, but uh, but Diego is just so much uh, smarter than this guy. This guy, he's one dimensional. He he has no uh, no other elements in his bags. No tricks in his in his sleeves. So um, he's like I said, he he, he was really kind of easy to dissect okay. when we were um, me and Coach Pat uh, Barry, the head head coach uh, of uh, Diego, um, we kind of dissect him within. Basically, we um, had we saw one fight. We saw, actually we saw two. We saw two fights, and he was just the same every time. So I mean, nothing changed from to the fights. He's like I said, he's one dimensional. He's, um, we uh, we dissected what, what what we need to do. We need to uh, take care of for our fight, for this fight. And um, I think that you're gonna see uh, Diego explosive like you always see him. Um, his condition is always great. He throws a million punches, you know. But I, the only thing is working on a little more, sitting down and sitting, sitting down with the power. Great. And um, I think you're, I think you're definitely gonna. Uh, he's. Uh, so you're gonna, you're gonna see that on November 11th. Obviously, you think Diego's gonna win this thing. Oh yeah. And what, so, give me a round, and what do you think? You think it's gonna go the distance, or? I really don't want to say. I mean, I don't like. To, I'm not a, a, a psychic. I can't okay. predict the future. <laughs> but, but um, I, I just really can't see uh, in, you know him staying with this this kind of magnitude okay. that Diego has uh, been uh, uh, progressing and singing in the gym. Okay. you know advancing and i still see him uh, stand up to him okay you know. thank you so much for your time uh, good you. luck on the 11th thanks